Hmm. All right, what's up? What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Holy fuck. So hard to get up early. I slept in again. My bad. And as we see, a day off is never really a day off. But so far so good, fingers crossed. The bike started up no problem. She's low on gas, so that's where I'm headed now to get a little gas. But uh, yeah, I gave the bike a good look over. I could have easily stayed in bed all day, but this is another, uh, honestly, I got shit to do. Got to do this one errand across town to get paid. Oh, taking a shellacking, like it's been long hours, dude. But I got a good night's sleep. Thank God. And now I just have some important business, yo. <laughs> so I'm forced to do what is right for the bike. These things need to be written. And even though I'm a weekend warrior, I can't seem to get through a weekend without riding this monster. So, it's a, it's a matter of, uh, yeah. This, hey, thus is the uh, compromise of marriage. You know, I'm pretty much in a relationship and it's complicated. <laughs> this old bike's got some issues, man. I love her, but you know what I'm saying. Everything costs money. Especially Harleys, they're kind of a money pit. <laughs> Especially with all the mods you can do, it's fucking addicting. All right, whoop. A little lane change signal. I gotta remember that when I change lanes, the bike's not tilting enough to uh, do the self-cancel. Fuck me. 
I try hard to miss that one, but it's, it's like a ditch right across the whole road. A little crazy. But no wonder shit rattles loose on this bike. Fuck. Vancouver, come on. Have some sympathy for the bikes. That could really cause a newbie to wipe out there. That's a big one. Especially if they only got one hand, you know, if they're fucking have a phone mounted on the bar and they got one hand on the bars. All right, enough of a pothole rant from me. <laughs> All right, we'll ch try to check in later. I got the camera rolling too much already, so. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm always a chatterbox when I'm out riding. And I've let it go because it's pretty good therapy, just riding in general. What is this fuck we're doing? Jesus. Now he's gonna speed up. Fucker. What a weirdo. He slowed right down, and then as soon as he saw me speeding up, he sped up. What a jackass. Now he's gonna pass me. There, it only took me a couple minutes out here to get angry. <laughs> <laughs> that was therapeutic, ironically. Okay. Warning, don't do not fucking modify your Harley. <laughs> It'll be too loud for your neighbors. Okay, I always like this corner. It's a good test of uh, sort of how I'm feeling for the day. Yep, I'm feeling like I need an easy, relaxed ride. Ooh, look at that big chunk of uh, debris. Oh, look at this bullshit. I am right away in the shiza. Oh my lord, what the fuck? What the actual fuck? I'm duck walking all the way across the bridge. Uh, that's the trouble with the being on the bike. I don't have a radio, so like I, I don't want to wear earbuds. So I have no idea what the fuck went on to cause this. Okay, well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just hope that I get through this, somehow. It's kind of nice to just turn on the camera for a moment so I can chat at a light. And listen to the idol. Uh, it's like, what's that called? Audio sensory, uh, whatever. Uh, just calms me down. Could be there's a little bit of exhaust fumes. It's uh, whacking me out a bit too, but hey. Shenanigans. I am so grateful to be out here. I, I gotta be uh, honest. It's been a fucking just brutal rotation for about a month and a half. Lots of hours. I love the money. And I'll thank myself in the winter when it's slow. When I've got a little extra in the tank. differently. I see the city, I view the city differently on a bike, like on a motorcycle. 
a fucking great way to uh, lose weight without all the impact on my lower back. I mean, yeah, there's some issues. And I'm actually grateful I'm not hearing a lot of G-cell pop. Good. So, so far I'm not winking. and rocking the L on this bike was a humbling experience. Just having everybody know that, hey, this guy, he still sucks. <laughs> Get away from him. <laughs> oh, I miss living in Burnaby. Burnaby's awesome. I spent a lot of time in Burnaby. It's getting pricier and pricier, like even to rent there. There's no fucking way I could own there. The building I'm in is a bit of a loophole because it's close to a hydro line. They can't really knock it down and put up a skyscraper because it's near the hydro. We have an easement to allow some of the hydro to go through our parking lot. I mean, it's way up in the air, but yeah. Oh, shit. There we go.
can officially celebrate getting my raise. I can't tell you how much of a relief that is to get that pushed through. So, kudos. It's not easy. Now, I just got to survive a little while at that wage and uh, turn this into boat kind of money. <laughs> My tiny savings account. Just need to keep growing that. I really don't, I, I need a good solid boat, but I really don't need much because I don't really anticipate ever getting a, a female partner again. I know what the fuck I'm doing and you know what I mean? Just stay on my plan. Don't let things get, get you all worked up. And my plan is to put myself in a position where I can retire and own a condo and a sailboat so that I don't have to always be in the city and I got a tiny income with a little support from a couple buddies that rent my place. That would be awesome. I mean, I, the reality is I'll probably have to get a rental, uh, like I'll lose some of my profit to a rental management company because anyone that knows me knows that uh, I lose patience pretty quick when I meet an unethical person. So I can kind of draw them out. So I have zero tolerance for bullshit now. <laughs> I've been through a lot and I don't fucking owe anybody anything. I wish I did, you know, I wish I had help coming up. More help, you know, like from family and shit, but you know, I had some great chefs. I worked under some of the most awesome people you could ever meet. Even though some of them were yelling every day. <laughs> They're fucking, yeah. I spent a culinary career, career being protected by these guys. Both me and my crews had like, a lot of freedom. We partied hard, we had a lot of freedom, and although for many of, much of my career I didn't drink, um, some of it I did, you know, like fuck, in my early days, I was pretty wild, you know, and my weekend was weird, so. Every weekend after a stressful kitchen uh, thing, I would get a little out of control. But I'm much better at adulting now, Thanks to this old Harley, she keeps me, uh, keeps me honest. There you go, wow. Yeah, next Christmas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, right. But even better would be to get a boat here uh, at Shelter Island or something. That'd be good too. And then just uh, maybe get permission from work to uh, park the truck there once in a while. If I'm staying over. Th that's the only marina that I can tell close to the city. It's in like basically Richmond there, South Richmond on the river. But if I could cram a little boat in there, I could be close to my apartment to pretend to live there and rent it out and uh, yeah. I just don't like the idea of trying to get out the river because you're not supposed to sail in the river anymore. Back in the old days, they did. I mean, sailboats are more than capable of fucking beating the tide once in a while, even if you fuck it up. But generally, you try to catch the tide too, eh? If you're that close to the exit of the river. But yeah, I don't have a lot of experience in river sailing, so yeah. I keep the boat away from the city. If I could, it's just a matter of affording the damn marina. And that's how the that's where the rent comes in. Dragging the rear brake a tiny 
bit through here just because I'm a chicken kid. <laughs> Fuck, I'm doing 60, so kind of probably shouldn't announce that. I'm gonna swerve around the uh, storm drain. Oop, little bump here. Uh -huh. switching the camera to the handlebars, but maybe not today, maybe not now. What a difference to the trip home is in terms of getting across the bridge. of checking the bike over when I got it home. It's possible somebody tampered with it when it was at the grocery uh, store last week. I did have an evil troll guy fucking literally follow me through the store. So, yeah. It's part of the problem with even looking like a bike. You know, it's like, dude, <laughs> I'm not a criminal. Get the fuck away from me. I wear a vest to protect my body. If I fall off my bike. They don't know the difference between a vest and a cut. Fucking idiots. Anyway. But I got a guy right on my ass, so I don't know, man. Might have to just deal with it. Trying to get the counter security. This is not a good place to stop your car, lady. Glad that guy didn't rear end me. He was pretty fucking close when I uh, slowed down for that guy. He could have easily just slid into me, but he didn't. He hit the brakes hard, like I did. <laughs> I geared down. Now I'm gonna gear up, yo. Yeah. She called this the chatterbox ride. Small in comparison to, uh, yeah, he's trying not to get hit by a car. <laughs> Basically begging for change. Pretty rough, man. He can't even be 35. He said his late 20s, that guy. Maybe. work. 
with grand, uh, grandiose skis. But there was really no events this weekend. There's nothing going on. I'd like to do a ride tomorrow. I just haven't quite figured it out. It'll be a little, a little bit cooler than today. That'll work out good. Might even get a little, uh, tiny bit of rain, but right now it's blue sky. Getting warm out though. I don't know, how are these things happening? Oh, we got a traffic light that takes forever. Even put my feet down. Oh, dead animal. That's a dead squirrel. A dead squid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I will probably do a little food run later. I may not post it. I, I usually keep the GoPro going a lot of the time, but I don't post every video. Damn it. 